Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the berry stitch, the crunch stitch, or the bobble stitch, whatever you want to call it. If that is something that you want to see, stick around and watch. Today I'm using a 3.75 millimeter hook and just some Dollar Tree yarn like always, you know how I do. The first thing we're going to do is make a slip knot. And then you're just going to single crochet an even number of chains. For this project I just did 12. There I have my 12 done. Then what we're gonna do is single crochet back down. So of course you skip the first and go into the second chain and you just single crochet an odd number of rows. So one, three, five, seven, however much you want your base to be. It's important to note that the reason we do odd number of single crochet rows is so that the puff will be on the same side as the other puffs. If you did even, they would be alternating back and forth. I've come to the end, so I just chain one, I turn my work, and I repeat. Come to the end again, I chain one, I turn my work, and there I have three rows of single crochets. So this is where I'm going to start working the pattern. You start by doing a single crochet into the very first stitch. Then you're gonna yarn over two times around your hook. You're gonna go through the next chain, yarn over, pull through, and pull up. Yarn over, pull through two of the loops. Yarn over, pull through two of the loops. Yarn over, and pull through the remaining two. Then you single crochet into the next chain. You repeat that, yarn over two times, go through, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two of the loops, yarn over, pull through two of the loops, yarn over, pull through all. Then you single crochet into the next stitch and you just keep repeating this until the very end. Once you've made it to the end, you're going to chain one and turn your work, and now you can see the little puffs. So what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet all the way down, do an odd number, so one, three, five, seven, however many you want in between your puffs, and you're just going to repeat. So I did one row, so I chained one, I turned my work, and I repeat my pattern. 
So I single crochet into the first chain and then I yarn over around my hook two times. I go through the next chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the next two, yarn over, pull through all. And then I single crochet into the next chain and I just keep repeating this. I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and like and subscribe for more.